All right, this is my uh, 1887 dated uh, Amberg Mauser 7184. Took it out to the range for the first time today. Uh, this is a rifle that I picked up uh, last year. It was uh, from a FFL of a friend of mine's. And uh, let's see, it was being sold for $100 because it came out of an estate sale. It was missing some parts. Uh, it was also extremely rusted and uh, stock was cracked in a couple of places. And of course, ammo is pretty much unobtainium. So uh, the guy gave it to me for just $100 to get it out of his safe. And so what I did is I basically uh, did the uh, conservation uh, Mark Novak method and uh, got rid of the rust and uh, sealed up some of the cracks in the stock re-oiled it, replaced the missing parts. Like for example, it was missing uh, the stacking hook, um, the spring and uh, follower. It was missing this uh, band spring as well as uh, this screw. And uh, I added a sling, uh, a re reproduction, uh, just to kind of match it up a little bit. And uh, what I think is really neat about this rifle is there's a uh, unit marking on there as well. Um, I'll have to have someone that's a little bit more knowledgeable than me uh, figure out what unit or regiment that belongs to. So yeah, let's uh, go to the shooting videos and I'll show you uh, the ammo first. So I did manage to get a somewhat of a decent deal on original uh, antique ammo. Uh, this is some paper patched uh, 11 millimeter Mauser uh, with head stamps from uh, 1888 and uh, I was able to get a good deal because uh, the box that it came in this one it was chewed up by a mouse so that really kind of killed the uh, collector value but um, I'm not here for uh, ammo collection I'm here for uh, <laughs> getting it out on the range and shooting it so uh, let's see if I can get a better view of the head stamp here just a better view of the uh, head stamps one of the coolest features about the uh, Mauser 7184 is the uh, magazine system. So we can pull the bolt back. And by the way, these are all uh, snap caps. You can uh, load, <clears throat> I think it's like up to eight rounds uh, into the tubular magazine here. And then you can also single load and there's a man magazine cut off over here. But in the, in the bolt in this position, if you flip this lever back over here, it'll start uh, releasing the rounds that were in the uh, tubular magazine. Sometimes you gotta really rock it back. Pretty neat. Hey, well, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to tell. Sorry to get back to you. Sorry. Oh, okay. So you sent the email, came to me, and then. Yeah, go ahead. I'm glad you did because I got I'm 9:30 last night. I'm reading emails, going. Oh. Yeah. Well, it didn't blow up. Where's my glasses? This is this is one of them. Nice. Nice. I'm going to need that. <laughs> Uh, 
So post shooting uh, report, so I did not have uh, any hang fires and I shot 10 out of the 20 rounds that were in that box and all performed admirably. Now when I did uh, pull the cartridges out, um, I did notice that there was a lot of blow by and uh, another guy who was kind of into these old uh, black powder rifles kind of took a look at the ammo with me and did point out that uh, there was some case splitting going on. So uh, most of those uh, cartridges, or the casings, are uh, no longer going to be able to be used for reloads. However, uh, this random one looks like it was okay and can be reused. So that's good to know.